SMF Street Traders, uh, 9-11 time, 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. What it's about, SMF Street, is the S&P 500 index, as we have been trading both bear and bull runs over the last several months since you've been here. What I am going to point out today, SMF Street Traders, is what the bear and the bull is doing right here right now and basically let's talk about the bull side of the S&P this is a monthly chart the bullish part is, is that you've got a rising 10 month moving average uh, that is starting to get a little bit better and remember that this month the previous monthly bar when we got up here to that 10 month we sold off dramatically so we sold off once twice came up the third so here's that month right there there's that resistance they ran it then we failed and we came back down but the positive thing is that the monthly move is the low of this move up this low is higher than that low plus you're above the 10 month moving average now let's take a look that we're at about 60.31 the previous month is on that percent DS has to rise not only that for the first time we've got a positive CCI working in this month of September the half monthly bar the SMF pro trading bar is at 11.44 the other thing that people need to be aware of is we are right here at 11.10. However, we've got to close above that 11.30 mark to get extremely bullish. Right now, we have an ascending monthly MACD. Ascending means that this value here is working quite nicely. So here, let's pull this down so you can see it. It's at it was minus 21. Now it's only minus 17 on the MACD. That's good. One of the things that's failing though is a higher percent DS. And the other thing is is that the percent DS is crossed over the percent DA. A lot of people call it percent Ks or whatever the case is. SMF Street Traders, we have traded the SSO, the SDS, and basically we this monthly bar is not final until you close uh, until the end of September so the bullish part is that a closing price above the 10 month at the end of September is when it becomes final however half of this big SMF down bar that's half of the bar at 1144 you gotta that's your wall of resistance now on the weekly chart on the S&P outside of that uh, move that we were just looking at on the monthly is let's take a look and see where the shorter term week by week low volume is working now when we sold off over here we have been trailing below that 10 week moving average we finally have taken out the 10 week moving average on this S&P so basically the negative is that the 20 week is still crossed over the 50 week. That 20 week cannot continue to decline in price. So that's a little bit of a bearish thing as far as the SMF momentum goes. The positive thing is if you build above the high of the bar and you stay above half of that SMF down bar, you stand to break out and challenge these tops up here. That's 11.23, the top you got to close above 1130 so we sold off once here then we had a three week pullback we got price made here um, at the very end going into September 1 we had a holiday we've had a Jewish holiday uh, we had Labor Day we you know volume hasn't participated however it doesn't matter when the bigger people come off and we're going into earnings season so right now there is a bullish case for the S&P 500 versus bearish and the pink line is the 50 week moving average and we're slightly above it I will not be constructively extremely bullish until I close above 1130 on the S&P 
That means that any move, the bullish part is I'm above there, but on the upper end of the bar at 11.23, I've got to clear those and get back above 11.30 on the S&P. Uh, we do have a weekly crossover. I'm at a 63.97 over a 51.68 percent DA percent uh, DS. A lot of people call it percent K. That's what's percent DS here. So basically, we've got a rising 10 10 week is very bullish as far as that price control. One of the things that we face moving forward, though, is, is that we're going to be going into the October earnings. And with slower growth, we have the elections, we're going to be range bound. We came down here, we went long down here at this double weekly bottom. We went long the S&P calls, which are working quite nicely. And we're making a lot of money. The thing about that trade, SMF Street traders, that's people who trade for SMF Street. And our worldwide visitors, you qualify to be here. You don't have to be a citizen. All non-U.S. citizens outside of this country qualify and deserve to be here in the SMF Street School, where you make live trades each day, learning what the entries, learning what the exits, trading the SMF Street capital. We put money behind you, and not only that, we have our own trading platform that we put behind you. And that platform belongs to us which is this platform right here. This is what the outside of the platform looks like. These are just symbols that are in here. And we have our own direct access market maker platform that people use. SMF Street Traders, here's your direct access trading platform. You can see those lines are mathematical lines on the S&P 500. And it's unfortunately, I can't get the whole thing in the video, but what I will do is I'll come over here. This part's in the video. I'm going to click on the SMF Street Brain. There's the SMF Street black box. I'm going to go to your deltas. I'm going to hit 10 deltas. These are all mathematical lines. I'll hit 20 deltas. That takes us up to the top of the market. Each one of these teeny values are 6.96 move, uh, dollar movements in the S&P. And these are all of our gauges. One thing I am going to do SMF, when I click on that, it gives me half of that bar at 1072. That is where it calculates and does everything for you. So basically, I'm going to take my spyglass. I'm going to move this over here to where that downtrend was. I'm going to click off of the brain and basically each one of these lines are 6.96 in value and it changes every day and what I want people to realize is is one thing because this is a SMF platform it's a weekly chart is this is where we're at half of that bar is calculated right here the SMF formulas which are down here at the bottom are calculated on weekly moves rather mathematically up mathematically down mathematically up but the combined movement last week was smaller at 19.73 the week before it calculates it all automatically calculates half of the SMF bar automatically there are so many things in here it's for the SMF street traders if I want to get all my historical data I've got all kinds of alerts that can be done all I have to do is click on the button so basically this is the SMF street platform right here that I have and I'm just showing it again because the market's not open so these things aren't calculating they're all mathematical calculations it continuously calculates mathematically for the people that want to take a free five-day trial and see this platform which is not sold to the public you'll see how accurate it is and all SMF MMTs are on this platform so basically I've got a declining 20 week I've got a rising 10 week I am above it but the bearish part of it is that the S&P has the support, it'll tell you right down here, 1072.99. That's automatically calculated. Nobody has to draw trend lines. It, it, all you got to do is push a button, and it calculates them automatically for you. So that's the weekly chart on the S&P SMF Street Traders. Back to the standard chart, same thing. Is It's bullish, 
with the rising 10 week but that drop down at support of half of this weekly bar just like I showed you in your other platform you'll be using that one okay and that's a support level we got to take out the highs what I am saying is there's more of a slight bull than bear but that 10, that 20 week that crossed over that blue line that 50 week is bearish and it's going to take a lot to keep that bull run in place SMF Street traders today's date 9-11 2010